Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Quan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids Willing Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy the series. Hello guys, it's been quite a little bit since the last Juan Man episode and also Lance's video in general. This is the longest time that I've been quote unquote away from YouTube ever since like, I don't know, four or five years uh, since I've been consistently uploaded. So yeah, it feels weird, man. Taking a little bit of time to readjust from Trailblazer. But uh, anyways, if you guys are new and you are, you know, not really 100% sure on what's going on, in the description of any of these Juan Man videos, I'll have a condensed spreadsheet that basically summarizes everything. But anyways, let's talk about what happened the previous episode. So on the last Juan Man video, I completed a thousand solo rays, which meant that the special unlocks of the Scythe of Vitzer, which we got really early on, I can actually start using it. So I did start using it a bit, experimenting with the Uncharted Scythe a bit, in places, but really, I do want to bring the site to raids one because there's a lot of speed running potential there. But yeah, that's gonna take some work. So I have been playing on Juan Man here and there throughout the months leading up to Trailblazer. Uh, whenever I host events on Twitch with my subscribers, so yeah, a lot of these raids that you see in the background now are some of the moments. But yeah, I really want to get the Sang Staff though, another special unlock because Sang Staff is amazing, one of the best items for consistent speed running of solo raids and what the scythe you know it's a no-brainer definitely gonna have to make the most use of the scythe right so in the screen you'll see the main roadmap for the overall series so for the main goals of 1500 raids we're now two-thirds done with that and in terms of primary mandatory raids one upgrades there is six items left we have dragon pickaxe the lance the Ferocious Gloves, Banos Tacits, Armadale Chain Skirt, and the Torture. Now, I might add something else to it because there's some new stuff that came out ever since this account want to break that might prove to be useful for today's Solo Raids meta. We'll talk more about that when the time comes. So now we have to work towards our new Raids 1 upgrade, which is the Dragon Pickaxe, while also primarily grinding for the Sang Staff as well. Alright, let's go, let's go. Purple, who? Who? Yo, it's me! <laughs> Get right! Get right! Oh no, oh no, it's me! Alright, let's go, let's go. 3, 2, 1. Sang stab, bro, sang stab. Oh, Defender Hill. Ah, whatever, man. I'll give you a bon, Olive. Don't worry, you you contribute. I'll give you a bon, alright? <laughs> Yo, that's dope. You can't blame me for that, bro. Wait, my purple? Oh, shit, it's me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, all right. Yo, another defender. Let's get it. <laughs> Took like 300 for the first one. Now I, well, now we've gotten like three defenders. Yeah, let's go. Coin, ha, ha, ha. Yo, whose brew is this? Another one? No way. No way. Seriously? Yo, it's mine. No, it's my purple tea. Yo, my purple tea. Holy shit. This is insane. Seven, seven purples back to back, dude. Justice your face card. Oh, ah, no, chest card. Didn't know it. <laughs> the first just this year piece on the account, but I don't even need it. But eh, that's whatever, dude. No way. No way. No way. We got another purple, bro. Are you serious? What? Oh my god, dude. Eight in a row. This makes. Holy shit. Fucking ferrets, dude. Oh my lord. We just got 8x. What in the world is going on? I guess we keep going. What is going? All oh, the Sang Staff, bro! Damn, yo, congrats on the Sang Staff, dude. I needed that. It's over. The streak's over. Holy shit. Eight TOBs, all purples. My god, that was nuts. Absolutely nuts, man. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Just hit it. Just hit it, bro. Just hit it. Double kill! Oh, we got it! Yes! Oh my god. That was close. Oh, man. 
Oh, finally, guys. Holy balls. 87 fishing. You know what I've been doing? I, I figured I had a dragon harpoon, right? And, you know, dragon harpoon boosts your fishing level. So I've been boosting this whole level to like 200k XP's worth with preserve. I was also doing some AFK fishing as well, because Zora skills are nice. But at this point in time in this video, we're back on Juan Man. So let's talk about the present. It's time to get back into the Raid grind for our next upgrade, which is the Dragon Pickaxe. So this next raid is going to be a uh, Dragon Pickaxe unlock, and then we can grind for it. But yeah, uh, I think this is my setup that I used when I last left off. So gonna try to acclimate myself back to the solo raid standard and then slowly uh, practice using the scythe because I want to incorporate that in there especially for the speed runs that we can do with it to increase our speed you know get some new PBs but for now we just got to get back to the swing of things oh yes uh, they've changed some stuff so no longer is scouting that annoying because uh, we don't even need to scout the large raids anymore I guess it's all going to be smaller rates from now on, because I don't know if I ever want to take this on. Alright, we're going to challenge ourselves on our first raid back uh, by doing this raid. It's decent. But we'll give it a go. Uh, I'll try my best. Hopefully, I, I can still do this like it's uh, second nature, hopefully. Oh, what? It can hit a 10 through prayer? Okay. Alright, I see how it is. Okay. So getting back into raids right away, there's always that one thing that I kind of forget about for a bit, which is 4 to 1, but there's some really easy ways to set it up. One of the easiest ways is just to camp the thumb and just kind of just stay there, you know, wait for Ohm to do his two attacks and then he just kind of stops attacking right afterwards, as you can see. And if you can turn the head back to the middle and then go to the pinky, you're good. You're set to 4 to 1. That's one easy way to do it. A little concerning because I kind of forgot how to do 4 to 1 there. But my muscle memory is uh, bringing it back. Okay. Alright, I got it now. It took a while, but yeah, I figured it would take a bit to get, get back into that uh, cycle. So that was, that was slow. But it's okay. First one back. Um, I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, so there it is. Uh, apparently, that's my new personal best. So yeah, they also updated raids to have an actual tracker for solos now. But yeah, okay, not too bad for the first one back. But uh, yes, we are now at 1050, so that means I can unlock my next item. We already set this slot to be Dragon Pickaxe, so yeah, we're going to be able to get that. Soon, I'm uh, gonna be working on Venonatus and Chaos Elemental, I believe. And uh, as for the next item, right? So every time I unlock a new item, I have to decide the next one. The next one's gonna be a torture. I think it's about time we upgrade from the Fury. You know, I love the Fury, but we definitely need to go for the torture soon. So that'll be a nice, uh, decent upgrade, you know? All right, second raid back. We're gonna do one of the hardest um, setups of all time. Basically, our checkpoint is vanguards. If we make it to vanguards and get the food, then I'm good for Ohm. But until then, I gotta survive all the way past shamans, past mud doves, past tight ropes. So <laughs> let's, get, let's do it, man. I need to zoom in a bit more. Really, uh... Okay, that was pretty rough because uh, that shaman caught me at the worst time ever. Okay, food is looking pretty bad. I ain't gonna lie, so... Um... Yeah, pray, pray to the Iron Jesus that uh, we, we make this out alive. Two brews to survive Mudadal, and then I and then I gotta kill uh, Vanguards with the one brew that I get from Mudadal. Nice, I'm good, I'm good. Alright, we survived it pretty much. Two brews. And Vanguards should be fine, because they, they also made Vanguard easier. You know, whoop de doo they also made Vanguards easier, so... <laughs> I should be fine, I guess. Oh, okay, yeah, they definitely made this a lot easier because the reset range is nowhere near as bad as it used to be. So this change is actually pretty massive because now you can be 40% damage apart in terms of the difference of the Vanguard's HP. It used to be only like 30% before. 
So that means you have to be really careful when you were using like Piety stuff. But now you can kind of just go on max strength most of the time and not reset. Oh man, that was clutch. That was freaking clutch. Alright, I felt good on that one for sure. Made a lot of progress on uh, getting back to form. Can I just hit this one more time? Oh my god. What? That still doesn't reset it? <laughs> I'm really testing the limits of the new uh, reset thresholds. Okay, we can do this. Alright, okay, that's not too bad actually. A lot of changes happened while I was away at raids, and one of the changes was this crab room here. They changed where the rock spawns, so now I gotta trap the crabs at the bottom of the map near the lights opening instead of like the northeastern part so i gotta get used to that i'm pretty sure this update didn't happen when i was playing on Man the last time but yeah this thieving room updates really nice you can get multiple grubs now so that's uh that makes thieving room probably better than even ice demon now in terms of time commitment to finish and also effort like it, it's just both better wow yeah, it's official, man. Ice Demon Room is by far the worst room now. Last raid of 2020, guys. Dang, we didn't get the purple. Oh, yo, the first purple. Hell yeah, let's go. New Year's. Let's go, man. New Year's is real, boys. Ah, oh, let's get it. First raid. I mean, first purple of New Year's, dude. Or, and also since coming back hell yeah i wonder what it is oh it's a deck scroll uh odds were high okay of course the standard decks all right we gotta mix some restores i'm pretty sure she can clean the herbs now too hell yeah dude that's so nice no more arthritis no more arthritis from cleaning all your herbs yeah she can do everything now that was rough Oh, I got a purple, dude. Holy shit. Oh, damn. Two days in. Two days on the return. I actually got a purple. Could be the Sang style right here, bro. Jeez, this guy's gonna catch up to uh, Iron Bar KC in no time. All right, we're gonna spin and type please. Here we go. What's good in this chest? Oh, another rape here. Dang, the Sang Staff eludes us. I think we're on raid. I think we are on the raid for the Sang Staff, but it's okay. It's okay, you know? Mm. Oh my god, that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. Oh my god, the three-way scythe. That was awesome, dude. Oh, what? Dude, perfect, man. Holy shit. Damn, dude. Man needed the rape here, and he got it, bro. Holy shit. Oh, that was sick. Oh, that was sick. Wait, what? Holy shit. <laughs> I tried my best, bro. Holy crap. That was that was scary. Let's go, man. Purples for the New Year's, dude. Let's get it. Oh, damn. That's a good one, too. Holy shit. This thing's worth a lot, is it not? Oh, I got a purple! Yo! Alright, man. Jump for joy, I guess. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, just this your face card. Dang it. The elusive Sang Staff eludes us once again. Do I have any just this year piece? I think I do. I have the plate body. Oh, I do, yeah. Holy shit. Damn, dude, that's that's two purples. Only three days apart. Oh, back to back, just this year helmet for me. Yeah. Oh, what? That was so cool. All right. Just uh, out all the leftover alcohols I had on the account. There's really not much left, you know, just a few random stuff here. I guess bow staffs could be out, but I'd rather not. But yeah, I got some leeway money now. So there's two ways to get the charges for the scythe. I can spend money, which I do have a bit of, to buy blood runes to charge it. Or 
I can train my runecrafting right to 77. I need 15 levels. I would ideally prefer to train runecrafting. Or, I mean, I would ideally like to make the blood runes because uh, that's pretty AFK. Now, I need 15 levels. So, I'm going to get some Dayal Essence by completing Sins of a Father. This will make the runecrafting process uh, more AFK and, yeah, just as fast. So, definitely got to do that this week. There we go. Sins of the Father done for the third time this year, I believe. Once in Trailblazer, once on Iron Bar, and once on Juan Man. <laughs> Yeah, let's put this on to runecrafting too. And 64 runecrafting. I've done some math, and Dale Essence is about 15 XP per essence. Add the lava runes. So yeah, I need like 70,000 uh, essence. But luckily, they, they don't take too long to get, so yeah, we'll get those done pretty soon. So I did some quick maths. In order to use up all these Dayalts at lava rune method, I'm going to need about 200 rings of dueling. And fortunately for me, I got a bunch from Kingdom. Oh shit, I, I should check my Kingdom, it's been a long time. But yeah, I got 200 Emerald Rings, so that's awesome right there. Just gotta enchant these and then, yeah, I think we're good to go after that. All right, I think I got the option to convert the shards. Yes, let's do all 70,000. Okay, we got everything. Wish I had a steam stamp though, but honestly, it's not a big deal. Steam stamp would have saved a little bit of uh, water rooms. But, eh, it's minor stuff. Let's go do some lavas, check it out. I can't wait, I haven't done this since like years ago before they uh, changed all of it. Like, now you have shift uh, empty pouch and all that. I didn't have that back in the day, so. Hey, nice, got the fire talisman. <laughs> oh my god. Some BS, man. Good thing this is a 1 in 10 to get. Ah, I need that for the freaking altar. Yay, first rune crafting level with the lava runes, and um, it's kind of annoying. Like, I remember. Way less annoying, though, to relearn this, for sure, but like, man, it's so easy to mess up stuff like your vines and all that crap. Oh, God, I just. There's just so much things you have to keep in mind. So it's gonna take a while for me to like muscle memory. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I need binding necklaces as well, right? So yeah, where exactly did I get those? Well, I got them from when I was going for the bludgeon uh, quite a while ago. All right, 60 cent room crafting. And I've done a nice uh, hour plus session now. 70 AK an hour. Ooh, 70, room crafting. All right, will this get me to 75? Yes, ah, giant pouch. There we go, boys, one more to go. 76 room crafting. Getting a modest 90k an hour currently with the giant pouch. You can definitely get 100k. But yeah, not using menu entry swapper though. And no crafting cape is definitely uh, slowing down a little bit, but this is very good. I think. Oh man, the last inventory. Holy crap, even with day ults, you know, and going like 80, 90k an hour, I still hate non AFK room crafting, man, honestly. I can't believe I used to like this stuff when I was a kid, you know? Crafting nature runes all day long for like days on end. But we're done! 77 room crafting, that means I can go straight back to. The place that I AFK all the time at. I'm addicted to that place, honestly. But yeah, it's awesome because I can easily put in a few hours of AFKing a day, even if it's sloppy AFK and it's fun. The site, no problem. You know? And yeah, the money issue, no issue. Once that's done, so that's awesome. All in all, I made about 67,000 lava runes, so that's, that's nice. Uh, the math came out pretty close, you know, to being on point there, so that's awesome. Leftovers. Ah, oh, ay, nice, nice. That's gonna be my AFK spot for like ever and ever. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way, you will get all video notifications. And if you have 
Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.